back to another DCS F14 tutorial. This time we'll be going over landings. So uh, key topics we'll be going over this video are on speed slash AOA, um, landing configuration, um, corrections for holding on speed, and um, descent rates, and also the landing hood. So uh, let's go ahead and hop right in. So uh, just key topics we're going to explain quickly. Uh, what is on speed? On speed is something that's used for carry landings. And basically what it is, is there's a certain speed that you have to be for um, your hook to catch a wire to the point where your plane is still generating lift, but that it's angled so that whenever you're landing on a carrier, that your hook catches a wire. Um, I'll go more in depth on this in the uh, Caroline tutorial, but I'll just show what you do to hold on speed. Now, you don't have to hold on speed for um, airfield landings, but it does help with your carry landings. That way you kind of already know what it feels like and what it looks like. Um, and then we'll go over DLC quickly. So DLC is just um, some slats that are deployed on your wings, uh, separate slats that you can use to uh, actually control your lift um, directly and instantaneously. So if you deploy them, outwards then you'll drop in speed because it's um kind of breaking your airflow and it's kind of acting like a speed break and when you um put them back in then your speed goes up and you kind of pitch up more which uh is used for carry landings but it can also be used for airfield landings so uh, i'll show you that uh, before we start i'll go over the takeoff not takeoff your landing configuration and your speeds so for at 300 knots, you want to have your wings put in auto. Um, at 280 knots, you want to have your gears down. At 250 to 225 knots, you want to have your flaps down. And uh, from there, you just kind of get on speed, which I'll show you visually. And you just want to fly it all the way down. Our descent rate always for um, the Tomcat is... 700 feet per minute, which is, if you look right here, this is our descent rate, as you saw from the takeoff video. Uh, the only thing different about the landing HUD from the takeoff is this right here, which is our um, velocity vector, which uh, basically what it does is it shows where your plane is heading at that specific point in time. That's all you need to know. Um, and that bracket right there, which is the E bracket, which is a repeater of this instrument over here, which it'll actually start showing once my, um, gears and flaps are down. Uh, that's just a repeater of what that is. And it's just more precise. And to be on speed, which is this, you want to have that E on our aircraft datum, which, um, is the same from the takeoff HUD. So we can go ahead and begin. As you can see, we're already at 300 knots. Our wings are in auto, so all we have to do is put our gears down, our speed brake out, which we use for landing because we have such powerful engines. Our speed brake kind of dampens the um, amount of output that it gives. Um, not as far as the actual engines, but by its thrust. Uh, it's, it slows us down because it's the speed brake, right? So your speed brake should be deployed. Um, at 280, gears down. At 250 to 225, your flaps should be down. Um, there's an indicator I was talking about in the takeoff, how it says up. You know, it's down when the white lights are out. Our speed brake should be out whenever the black square is there. Flaps will be down. Our DLC should be deployed, which I'll visually show you. And then we fly the on-ball. So, not on-ball, on-speed. So we'll go ahead and start. I'm just going to flip a switch. That stops this from blinking. So we're going to slow down by putting our throttle to idle, which, um, this is our indicators down here. I forgot to explain this, so this would be pretty important to watch. This is our, uh, throttle input, this is our stick input, and this is our rudder input. And that little diamond right there is our trim. That way you can see without having to look at the indicators down here. So, we'll put our throttle to idle, 300, our, uh, wings are already in auto gears are coming down at around 280 so I put the gears down you can see that they are in transition by the red light and by those red and white lines 
getting around 250. Flaps here down. And this is where I deploy DLC. So if I hit the deploy DLC button slash countermeasure dispense, which will go over countermeasure dispense and weapons and DLC toggle and um, carry landing. If you just hit it, you'll see these kind of slats pop up, right? It just helps us slow down more. And um, it's also used for carry landings. And we just kind of slow down until that E rests on our aircraft datum, which is right here. As you can see, this light is showing. Um, I'll go more in depth on this in the carry landing. Right now, just focus on the E. So, this is where some extra knowledge comes in. So, this is the poppy lights. You see, four colored lights. If all four lights are white, that means you're too high. If all four lights are red, that means you're too low. And if two are red and two are white, that means that you are um, at the correct altitude for landing. So, we're just um, using throttle to keep the E on that uh, aircraft symbol. And we're trying to get 700 feet per minute. So because our VSI or our um, descent rate indicator reads five uh, and 500, so that's zero, 500, 1000. We're trying to get in between there for 700. But we're also trying to get the two white lights and the two red lights. So we're descending, we're descending. Right now, I'm just using stick and uh, power, as you can see. And the only reason I'm not getting that E bracket on the Danmia is because I'm trying to send pretty quickly, since we're pretty close. And once I start seeing um, one red light, I'll start to try and um, get it to around 700 feet per minute. So I'm going to add throttle, that way it sticks with it. I'm just going to kind of jog the throttle to keep that... Um, that E there, as you can see the second light appears, so we are at the correct altitude. Uh, this shows that where we're going, so I'm going to aim for the tire marks where all the other planes land. It shows that we're a little too high right now, but that's okay. We're back on the right altitude again. And now we're coming for a nice smooth landing, so we're going to flare out, pull the throttle back and add brakes. I'm using tow brakes, uh, which is why you can't see it, which is down here on the indicator. Alright. So, that is how you land. I'll go over it one more time. That way you can see it in real time. And I'll uh, see what I'm doing out loud. And I'll go more into holding on speed because it's mostly used for um, carry landings instead of um, runway landings. So, put my controls back up. My gear should be down. My flap should be down because I'm kind of at that speed. My DLC is deployed. I can see in the mirror and visually. Alright, so I'm slowing myself down. And last time I didn't trim. That way I can release pressure on the stick since I'm actually pulling it back pretty far. So I'm going to trim to release pressure off the physical stick that I'm holding. I'm going to keep my descent rate going. Alright, as you can see... The only reason this is blinking is because um, on actual carry landings, if the hook isn't down, then it'll blink. Like if I put my hook down now, you'll see it stops blinking. But because we're not in a carrier, uh, we won't be using our hook. So to stop it from flashing, you can come down here to where it says hook bypass and set it to field and it stops blinking. Uh, if that's getting on your nerves. So we're getting a little slow. As you can see by this indicator right here, since it's under, that means we're too slow. If it's above, that means we're too fast. So we regulate where it goes using our throttle, and we regulate our descent rate by using pitch. As you can see, we all are already on altitude, so we're going to set it to 700 feet per minute. And we're a little too fast, so I'm going to bring it down a bit. 
now I'm just gonna jog the throttle. To try and keep it on speed. We can visually see if we're misaligned or not, or where we're actually going if you look um, hard enough. But uh, our velocity indicator shows that we're going towards the bottom end of the runway, which is what we want. So we're just going to keep holding this descent rate. As you can see, we're on speed. I'm holding the descent rate with pitch, and I'm adjusting the throttle to keep the E bracket where I need it. Um, we also use 700 feet per minute on um, carry landings, so if we just kind of hold it from far out like this on speed, uh, it's really good practice for carry landings also, uh, which is why I was talking about deploying DLC, because it's not actually needed to land on runways, but uh, it helps with your carry landings. Also the pocket lights kind of help simulate um, flying that small area of uh, glide slope. Uh, whenever using the ball on carry landings. And I'll go more over on uh, the ball on carry landings in that specific video, which is actually next. As you can see, we hold the proper altitude and descent rate um, on speed all the way down. So now that we're on our runway, we can go ahead and flare out. Idle power, flare out so it descends nicely and add brakes. There you go. Now that's how you land the Tomcat. Now we can go ahead and go on to the carry tutorial.